Okay, in this tutorial, I'll be going through with a symbol of stock WSBF. I will just copy that and I'll paste it in Google and write stock besides. On the left hand side, you can see the information from Google. On the right hand side, it's information from, I think, Wikipedia. And um, let's go to, uh, together uh, through this talk. First of all, if I want to know that uh, what is the price of the stock if I want to buy right now, I can just see from Google it's 16.98 US dollars and it's in US dollars currency. And, um, and so I'll just update this thing and then I want to know when it was founded. Uh, you can see founded 1921. Uh, that's where it's written. Sorry, I'll just go back. That's founded. And... Uh, then uh, if I want to know the sector that what the sector um, it has I'll show this to you later on in the video but um, I just want to consider on these four ratios that are very important um, for scanning the or analyzing the stock and um, the website I use for this is macro trend and I've left the link in the description so you can just click there so um, just go to price ratios and price book ratio and then uh, paste in the uh, the symbol but make sure that the name besides the symbol is the one that you are analyzing because there are many stocks with the same symbol so you can just you know make sure that that's uh, the right name click on it and then you just see uh, the price book ratio now I'll just explain for people who don't know who are just beginning uh, so book value is the real price the actual uh, price of the share so what it's worth the real worth of it but the stock price is the market price so the book value could be uh, like for example here the book value is 6.46 okay so the real worth of stock is 6.46 dollars but from market you are getting you are paying 11 dollars 58 pence so you are paying nearly four dollars more for the price uh, four dollars more to buy this uh, stock so you need to be careful about that so you're buying expensive stock okay so um, then uh, let's see right now uh, in June it is 1.24 1.24 means that um, that you are paying 1.24 times uh, the real the real price uh, sorry you're paying 1.24 times more um, the real price um, so for example if I just go back and it says that it is 1.2 it means that the real price of the stock is $13.73 uh, but you are paying $16.46 um, which is 1.2 times more than uh, 13.73 um, so 16.46 is 1.2 times more uh, than 13.73 so it's a bit expensive uh, than um, what you really should be paying and uh, so it this stock is 1.24 times currently more expensive than it should be if I just go back um, this was undervalued or at discount uh, from 2014 onwards to 2016 uh, because it uh, you can see vertically if I just show you in 2015 June the stock price uh, the real price was $13.07 but you could get this from the market price $11.48 uh, pence so you were getting cheaper a discount because the real price was thirteen dollars, but you are, you can buy it from eleven dollars. So if uh, the ratio is less than one, then it's a bargain, and if the ratio is more than one, then you're buying it expensive. So you need to be careful about that. Then if you go to other ratios, uh, current ratio, if it's one point five or more than that, then it means that it has good margin of safety. It means that. Um, there are more assets than liabilities but it also means that there's good it's secure uh, because it has more good margin of safety so I'll just have a look I'll just go to the recent one it's more than 1.5 it means it has good margin of safety um, you know you can just um, 
not worry about if it's safe to invest in it or not because it's more than 1.5 um, so I've just look at the previous ones as well it's more than 1.5 however just once in 2017 March it's 1.45 it still means if it's more than one that means that assets are more than liabilities so it's still good but I'm just uh, focusing on margin of safety so uh, if I just go back so it's like 1.45 it's less than 1.5 and if I go to 2015 December it's 1.02 so you can see vertically up that the liabilities and assets there's very little difference between liabilities and assets so uh, but still assets are a bit more than liabilities but there's like it's not secure it's not uh, very safe to invest because the margin of safety is very less and then it's 1.55 and then in 2014 again in December it's 1.06 which is not very, um, you know, there's not a lot of margin of safety, even though the assets are more than liabilities. And then you can just have a look. So um, it's like rarely, uh, just now, until now, like um, after June 2017, it, it has begun uh, to be more than 1.5. It has begun to be uh, safer, have a large margin of safety um, because it's more than 1.5. Just uh, in June 2017 but before that it it was not very secure to invest in it there was not a lot of margin of safety but now it has started to be like that so let's see how it goes in future if I go to debt equity ratio it tells me that if the firm is operating mainly on debt or on equity if it's mainly operating on debt long-term debt then it's not good because it means that uh, any company that is operating a lot on debt it's not very good sign um, you know the, it's not very secure uh, there's less margin of safety and it's very risky stock uh, so if it's 0.5 or less than that then it's very secure to invest in it it's not risky but if it's 0.5 uh, it, if it is more than 0.5 then it's a risky stock to invest in it's 1.17 right now in March to uh, 2019 which means that it's operating more on long-term debt so it's very risky to invest in it it's a risky stock if you have a look uh, vertically up that the uh, equity is 0.38 but the long-term debt is 0.45 so there's a lot more debt than equity so it's not very secure it is very less margin of safety it's operating a lot on debt which is not good for a firm and then if you go back it's 1.09 still the debt is more than equity you know and so like it's just fluctuating up and down and you know it's operating a lot if i just go back it's 2.77 it's operating a lot on debt uh you know so even though the debt has reduced the equity has increased um in coming years after 2016 the equity has increased but still it's uh not very secure because still it's operating mainly on long-term debt equity is a bit less but let's see in future if i go to return on cap on uh, return on employed um, it should be eight percent or more than that for it to have a good margin of safety um, let's see right now it's 7.78 percent it's nearly eight percent i'll go back and see the consistency consistency and it's like three percent four percent and minus 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 and then so it's not giving um, a return of 8% or more than that consistently, you know. So um, it's not a, like it doesn't have a, like it is giving a return of 7.78%, which is again a return, but it's not good enough uh, for um, it to be like a safe firm to invest in, like it's risky stock. So it's not a safe stock, I would say because it goes in minus a lot you know and now recently it has been in pluses but still it's not up to eight percent so you know it's a risky stock um let's see that um, i'll just copy that i'll paste that and click stock uh if it pays out dividends which it does this the division dividend is 2.8 percent eight two percent um if any company pays out dividend it is a good sign because even if it's a small percentage because it means that it has extra cash 
um, to give its shareholders so the company is able to generate enough cash where it can invest in itself as well as give out to the shareholders which is very good uh, you know it's a good sign let's see if it's a million or billion company uh, market cap you can have a look from Google it's a million company uh, which means it might be a medium-sized company it's not very big in terms of billion um, then if I just have a look at the reviews I can just uh, copy that and I can just paste that here and I'll just type in indeed reviews for people who are working there uh, what they have to say so there are only 14 reviews which is not a lot to judge a company and it gives 3.6 reviews which is good enough reviews it's not very bad you can read through the reviews but it's not um, um, sufficient enough to analyze anything the 14 is not enough but let's see if we find any reviews in Glassdoor because uh, Glassdoor is very important for reviews as well and uh, again um, Again, Glassdoor has um, Glassdoor has 3.6 reviews, which is not uh, 3.6 reviews, which is very good rating, um, rating. But it's only 15 reviews, so which is not enough to judge a company. But still, you can have a look and read through it if you if you like. Uh, let's look if it has any patents. I'll go to Justia patents. You can find the link of this website uh, for patents in the description. Um, so for so that it's easier for you I've just typed in in the search bar and I'll click enter and I have to see if there is no I'll just type this in Google again because sometimes what happens is that the patents are you have to type in something like for example I'll just type this whole thing and I'll just paste it here maybe it will appear if it has any patent or not I'll just type this Link. no I can't find any patent so this might not have any patent because patent act as a mode it gives a competitive edge so it's important to see if some firm has a patent or not uh, let's go to Yahoo Finance I want to show you um, the salary of the key executives which is very important to know uh, you can find the link again in the um, uh, description and make sure that the symbol matches the uh, the company you're searching for because some firms have more than uh, you know one like similar symbols I'll just go to profile and then here you can see the sector which is financial services the industry is savings and cooperative banks full time employees is age 188 and uh, I can see the key executives you can see the name and the title and the salary but you can see that there are four salaries shown only one salary of the controller um, is not shown you can maybe Yahoo Finance haven't shown that so maybe some other website you can get it from you can search that and the more um, transparency there is the more uh, things that um, any firm shows uh, the better it is the more trustable it could be so maybe here they haven't shown you can search it somewhere else you can find it so um, that's really good